What is going on everyone and welcome to Beer Pressure. Now if you've kept up with my videos in the past, you know there was a certain fruit beer that I've tried that I really, really enjoyed. Let's cut to that. This is phenomenal. Oh my god, okay. Taking inspiration from that video and hoping to keep that enjoyment rolling forward, today I'm looking at cherry beers. Now if you missed that video, it's okay. Go ahead and click subscribe down below so you don't miss another one. And let's get into these beers. I'm a Massachusetts native, so I've said it once and I'll say it again. I love me some Sam Adams. So this is Sam Adams Cherry Wheat. This beer comes in at 5.3% alcohol by volume and 30 IBUs. So I'm expecting some sweetness and some tartness. Everyone, let's take a moment. Be quiet now. Oh yeah. Cheers. So interesting fact, while I was looking up these beers, they're all brewed with this. Yeah, they're all brewed with the same cherries from Michigan. Interesting. So it's a type of sour cherry, and that should bring some tartness to us. Ooh. This is a good first sign, all right? So as you saw in that clip before, it tastes like cherry pie, and this is giving me the same flavors in the nose, the nose flavors. Before we get too excited, I like what Sam Adams doing with, I mean, pretty much all their beers. Uh, all their labels are pretty simplified, you know. I When I was looking up the cherry wheat, in the past they've had like pictures of cherries and all that on there. But I like, and if I'm being honest, I have a couple of these stashed. Like I collect the labels because they're pretty cool. They're simple, different colors, whatever it is. But cherry wheat, it's fitting that it's red. First sip of the day. Wow. Okay, so this is really good. Okay, I'll be honest, before I get into the review of this, I've had this beer in the past and I bought it as like a six pack, you know, just getting together with some friends. And I wasn't like, I wasn't really into it, but I also was not, I was like, I wasn't drinking heavily, but I was drinking more than one, right? And it was just too sweet, but drinking it and like with the mindset of this is gonna be sweet, this is a cherry beer, this is super refreshing. It's not as tart as I like initially expected. It's super sweet. And there's, I was reading it right here, there's a dash of honey in there. And that comes in at the end. And this is really well balanced. Oh man. Woo! Gosh, dude. This makes me want some cherry candy. Like, I like cherries, I'll be honest. Like, I, I feel like a lot of people do. And me coming into this thing, you know, this was gonna be like tart, kind of sour cherry. I'm sure we'll get into that. But this is overly, really sweet. If you don't want sweet beer, I'd probably stay away. Because it is, it's, it's very, really well balanced. But I'm not really getting like, I'm trying to like quench it in my tongue, quench it in my mouth and get like some of the other wheat kind of flavors we got going. But overly, it's refreshing. Um, the more I sip on it, it kind of dilutes the first like burst of sweetness, but it's very well balanced, very sweet, super cherry, the smell, the smell is good. Oh. I like starting with the wheat because all these beers are different. But with the wheat, it's I feel like it's easier to experiment and kind of play with other flavors because a wheat beer itself is not bland, but it's kind of just kind of plain, you know? And so adding in flavors really, you can really get those flavors come forward. Next up, we have Bell's Cherry Stout. All right, so this stout comes in at 7% alcohol by volume, and I wasn't able to figure out the IBUs on it. So Cherry Stout. And it's expected with the higher alcohol percentage because it is a stout. But again, looking at the bottle, pretty simple, you know. You got a nice cherry tree on there, some big exaggerated cherries. And I do like the cap, that's a keeper. You can't tell what it is, but there's a cherry on the cap. So let's crack into this stout. All right, that will work, a little exploder. 
let's give it a pour. And so unlike the Sam Adams, which I previously went over here, this is a seasonal release. It is not year round. That's nice and dark, guys. Nice and dark. Mm, these smell so good. Obviously, we're not gonna have the same colors. This is way lighter. This is a stout. But smell-wise, They're different. They both smell like cherry. Sam Adams smells more like a cherry pie. Um, I, I think maybe the lighter, the wheat, wheat and cherries equals cherry pie. This one, very strong stout smell. So you like kind of like coffee, chocolate, ooh, chocolate cherries. All right, enough smells. completely different flavor it's funny they like i said they use the same cherries but this one this one's got a little more bite as in like a little more tartness to it i will say it's a lot it's a lot more complex on the palate again the tartness and chocolate are good but and i think this is kind of a trend with stouts is they're just a lot more to kind of break down on the tongue whereas this one you taste it you get the cherries you breathe that, you get a little bit of the honey over here, right? With the stout, it's like a growing flavor in the mouth. And I, I do enjoy it still. Man, I did not know. Thank you guys. Thanks for this channel for showing me I enjoy cherries in my drink. Would I drink a lot of these at once? I don't know. Maybe. It's there. It's a nice little treat. Good little good dessert beer so far. All right, it's time for a can. Boom. Anderson Valley Cherry Goose. I really hope I'm saying that right. That would not be good if I'm not. Anyways, this beer is coming in at 4.2% alcohol by volume and only 12 IBUs. So if it, Anderson Valley looks familiar, it's because last time I did sour, I did sour beers, link below, right? And Anderson Valley, I had one of theirs on there. I did the hazy sour, so moment of silence. Gotta love that sound. Guys, I'm enjoying these beers. I wish I got more than three, but that's all right. Interesting. Let that die down. Not getting, it's really not as fragrant as the other two. What's interesting, and I don't know if you can tell on camera, it might just look, even though it might look yellow, it's got like kind of a slightly pink hue to it. It is again brewed with the same cherries. Um, can't for the life of me remember. Mont something. Montisserie? That does, rotisserie? They're all brewed with the same cherries, okay? And they're all naturally brewed with the cherries, so that's great. Mm hmm. We're going down this road again. So, a goose. I think I gotta be saying that, right? A goose. God, I don't know how. If I'm saying it wrong, whatever. But they're a lot like sour beers. And that first sip, definitely. A lot like sour beers. Ooh, but the sour comes after. Mm, kind of nice. I, I don't know. Anyways, before we get going on that, you know, looking at the can here. I think this is Anderson Valley's, like, kind of thing. You got the bear with antlers. Drinking on the lake, nice mountains, and then a big old cherry moon. And a lot of the beers that I've looked at from them are, like if it's a fruit goose, it's kind of that fruit there. I'm not getting like the most flavor. Like, so cherry wise, in these two beers, it was like sweet, and it really paired well with the other flavors of the beer. And this one, I'm not really tasting the cherry. Hmm. Overall as a whole, the beer is refreshing. The sourness kind of wears off as you take a few sips, as I obviously have. Um, but yeah, I'm not getting many, many like cherry. Like if I go back to the wheat beer, if I go back to Sam Adams, right?
I taste straight up cherries, fresh cherries, fresh baked into a cherry pie cherries. With this one, I think the sourness of it is kind of overpowering the like flavors. Because with both of these, like I said, they're sweet. I can really like hone in on that cherry flavor. Not so much on this one. These beers have inspired me to get into the fruit beer game. Because I really haven't, you know, I typically stick to IPAs, your regular kind of beer flavors, right? But all three of these, minus Anderson Valley, good beer, good flavors, just not the cherry burst I was expecting. So balanced, you get the tartness, you get kind of the bitterness from the beer. You get the sweetness, and they just blend well. These are desserts, guys. So I hope you enjoyed, and let's keep enjoying responsibly.